know, I'll be your moderator this weekend throughout the first, first and second rounds of the NCAA tournament. Again, we'd like to welcome you to the University of Oklahoma. Today we have with us the head coach of Georgia Tech, Michelle Joseph, student athlete players Alex Montgomery and Bridget Ardossi. We're going to open it up with an opening statement from the head coach, and then we'll begin with uh, questions for our student athletes, and then following our questions for our student athletes, we'll ask more questions to the head coach. Coach. Um, good morning. First of all, I just want to say how excited we are to be here to play in our fourth consecutive NCAA tournament. Um, it's a huge uh, honor for our program and for these young ladies that have worked extremely hard this year to put ourselves in a position to earn the highest seat in the history of our program, which is a sixth seat. So we're very excited about this opportunity. Um, you know, we have tremendous respect for the other teams that are in this in this tournament, um, in particular, um, you know, uh, Arkansas. Little Rock is... Um, just uh, really impressed me with the, uh, the film I've seen and the tapes I've seen on them. They're very, uh, a very talented team and with tremendous experience. So I, I, we're excited about that matchup as well as the opportunity to be here in, in Oklahoma. Um, we started our season here and, and um, you know, at the end of our season we're back here. So um, it's, uh, it's, it's a great challenge for us. Um, we're looking forward to the opportunity tomorrow night and we'll go from there. Questions for our student athletes? Alex, what have you learned about Arkansas Federal Rock in the last week? Um, I've learned that they they can be very physical and they have one dominant player that we have to stop and we have to just execute the game plan and we have to play smart defense. Alex, when you look at a Chassidy Reed and the one dominant player, what type of, uh, is there anyone in the ACC that you've seen that she reminds you of? Um, I'll have to say she reminds me of Shanice Johnson from Miami, but, you know, we, we were capable of stopping her, and we're capable of stopping number 20 tomorrow, so. Brother, how does it feel, I mean, getting to the tournament now is an expectation almost for you guys, it seems like, as opposed to a few years ago when it was just kind of a fun deal. I mean, just talk about how the mindset of the program has changed over the last couple of years. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's not almost an expectation. We expect it every year now. I've been a part of all four years of making it to the tournament. And, um, you know, each year our goal has been to get further and further. And I think this year we've really put an emphasis on that. And our focus has been making it past two games. And I think that with our preparation and, and our practice and our focus in the past couple weeks, I think we're ready. And for me, as last year, I had to miss out, sit out. And this year, you know, I'm ready to just give it my all, make my seniors proud, make my fans proud, my coach proud, and just play basketball. Okay, tournament time, how is it different now than uh, just the regular conference? It's more exciting, or how do you, how's it make you feel? I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's one and done. It's kind of like um, we always talk about having three three seasons. We have regular season, then we have the ACC tournament, and then we have the NCAA tournament. So being the fact that it is one and done, you know, there's it's a bit more of a, I wouldn't say pressure. It's more exciting at the fact that you can come in and you really have to give it your all every 40 minutes. You don't have a second chance, you know, and especially for me, I don't have a second chance. So it's kind of like we have to go out there and just lay it all out and not leave anything behind this time. Whereas, you know, during the season, we, you know, we have so many games that it, you kind of lose sight maybe of the fact that, you know, oh, well, we play next week anyway, but this time, it's, you know, you can't be thinking that. you got to be thinking what's in front of you and then, and then move on from that once you've achieved that goal. So. Uh, Bridget, what would you say is probably the biggest difference in, from the team last year uh, way that you're coming into the tournament? Biggest difference? Hmm. I mean, I think just the fact that it's, like we were saying before, it's it's an expectation that we're here, whereas, you know, I remember my first year being in the NCAA tournament, it was just so exciting to actually have made it and everything, but now, you know, having the experience I've had with four NCAA tournaments and then, you know, our juniors and our sophomores, they've experienced it also. So, you know, it's not like it used to be in the past where it was kind of like a new thing. Like now it's kind of like, you know, this is what we do now. 
we're in the NCAA tournament every year now. So it's just our our goal is to move beyond the two games, and that's what our focus has been. Instead of just you know happy to be in the tournament. It's kind of nice too to get out of the um, you know the conference. It's kind of a grind, especially towards the end of the year. Is you all scouted each other about a million times to get some to get a new style of, of opponent that we hadn't seen. Yeah, it's always good to come up against somebody new. I mean, Oklahoma's not new for us though, so that's kind of, we scouted them before, so we're prepared for that. But um, but to come up against Arkansas Little Rock, you know, it's always exciting. Little Rock's in the tournament for the very first time ever. Uh, how important is that experience to you and your teammates, having been here so many times versus a team that's maybe this is the first time they've ever done this uh, mentally and preparing for the game? How important is that experience, having been in the tournament before as opposed to your first time? I think it's very important. I mean, you know, it's it's kind of like when, when we first came in, you don't know what to expect. So, I mean, it can be dangerous for, for them, for us, I mean, them coming in and being their first time because they have no expectations. They're just coming out, you know, giving it their all. But um, for us, having that previous experience, it really helps us out because we know what to expect. We know, you know, the um, how game day is, how electric the, you know, the atmosphere is, and everything like that. And we're used to it, and that's what we've become accustomed to now. So, you know, we're we're always at that intensity level, whereas this may be their first time coming in at that. So. I mean, it can be dangerous, but at the same time, I think our, our experience is, is definitely going to help us long run. Have any other questions for our student athletes? At this time, Alex and Richard, you guys can be dismissed. Thanks. Thank you.